Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is that a string of gems glittering in space? Scientists are baffled by the newest discovery made by the James Webb Telescope. We're talking about ancient galaxies formed billions of years ago. Let's just say, it's all beyond our wildest imaginations. It's amazing how astronomers can now observe things that they sometimes can't even explain, all thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. In a recent discovery, astronomers used Webb, the most potent satellite observatory ever created, to spend 50 hours staring into the deepest reaches of space. And guess what? They found some of the earliest galaxies to have ever formed, which were formed more than 13 billion years ago. Honestly, it's a remarkable achievement to capture such a rich cosmic landscape with the most unique objects that humanity has ever seen. The research also shows that these ancient galaxies released an extraordinary quantity of energy into space, ten times more than astronomers had anticipated. How these galaxies came into being is the key question on the minds of astronomers. Mysterious dark holes? Dying stars? Well, there's one thing we do know, and that is, this might be the earliest piece of the cosmic web that has ever been found. You see, the Webb Telescope is a very sensitive device that can record some of the most distant light in space. Because infrared light has longer wavelengths than visible light and can't be seen by humans, Webb is our trusty old friend. As the cosmos grows, old light is stretched, which means it has changed and redshifted. So, JWST was able to find the energy produced by galaxies. In fact, 44 galaxies that probably formed in the first 500 million years of the cosmos were found by scientists through it. This energy was initially released as ultraviolet light, but it has since been extended to infrared. The gigantic, gas-filled tendril made up of 10 densely clustered galaxies that spans 3 million light-years has amazed scientists all over the globe. And it's not just because of the fact that it looks like a pearl necklace dangling in the sky. But what exactly are we looking at? It's believed that this filament was created some 830 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was still very young. It's anchored by a superluminous celestial object with a quasar, a supermassive black hole at its heart. The tendril was initially spotted by scientists because of this brilliant black hole. The data from the James Webb Space Telescope also gave us insight into how early supermassive black holes control star formation in their host galaxies. For years now, scientists have been hard at work to learn how the first black holes affected the galaxy. Black holes act as gravity wells to gather matter and occasionally hurl it far out on cosmic winds. These winds whip up around extremely active quasars and are thought to have contributed to the formation of the cosmic web. Even as the winds carry them across the universe, gravity maintains the links between these strands of stars and dust. Now, these winds can also affect the creation of a star and travel far beyond the black holes themselves. So, this discovery implies that winds can basically inhibit star formation in the host galaxy, influencing the development of that galaxy. Such winds have never been directly observed this early in the cosmos, and we can observe the size of these winds reaching across an entire galaxy and affecting its evolution in the data gathered by Webb. Using cutting-edge technology, astronomers have created simulations of how the cosmos has changed over billions of years, starting with the creation of the first stars and galaxies, and ending with the production of the necessary organic components for life. But no simulations predicted such severe UV energy releases. What could be the reason behind this unexpected discovery? Well, scientists think that young, active stars that are far hotter than the Sun are spewing energy into space. But supermassive black holes, which are objects with hundreds of thousands to billions of times the mass of the Sun and are typically found at the heart of galaxies like our Milky Way, could also be the source of this ancient light. But this raises the question, where would those supermassive black holes have come from? It's like the JWST giving us far more questions than it's giving us answers. But these new directions in research are intriguing, to say the least. How could such massive objects with gravitational fields so strong that even light cannot escape have originated so quickly and early in the history of the universe? The majority of black holes are made when stars explode. But could there be another way that these black holes were made? But here's what we do know. The universe's galaxies are not randomly dispersed. Rather, they unite to form filamentary formations that are spaced apart by enormous voids. As matter is drawn together by gravity, this cosmic web changes throughout time. Like ocean waves, galaxies travel along filaments or strings of dark matter. The newly found filament is particularly intriguing because it's the first instance a structure of this kind has been seen at a time when the universe was only 6% as old as it is now. 
According to the researchers, the filament will eventually condense into a galaxy cluster resembling the Coma Cluster, which is located around 330 million light-years from Earth. In February 2023, the JWST helped astronomers peer into not one, not two, but six huge galaxies that came into existence at least 500 to 700 years after the Big Bang. The discovery drastically refuted previously held beliefs regarding the creation of galaxies. And guess what? These things are much larger than anyone anticipated. At this point in time, they expected to only find tiny baby galaxies, but instead they have found galaxies that are just as developed as our own. Yup, in what was formerly thought to be the universe's infancy. Because the telescope uses infrared light to examine the universe, it's able to pick up the faint light emitted by old stars and galaxies. It's so cool to think that the observatory can literally look back in time to around 13.5 billion years ago by gazing into the faraway universe. By the way, the universe is estimated to be 13.7 billion years old by scientists, so we're literally able to look back at the start of time. Plus, what many of us had believed to be established science has since been upended by this discovery. Now we know that massive galaxy formation started extremely early in the history of the cosmos. These things, which astronomers have dubbed universe breakers, have so far lived up to their name, right? What's more, scientists need to reconsider how galaxies came into being and evolved, since the ones discovered are so huge that they disagree with 99% of the models describing early galaxies in the universe. From what we know, galaxies started out as little clouds of stars and dust that developed through time, right? It turns out that what we discovered is so rare that it actually poses challenges for science. That's right, it actually casts doubt on the theory of early galaxy formation as a whole. So, how do we go about this? By capturing a spectrum image of the galaxies, which includes dividing light into different wavelengths and gauging the true distance of the galaxies. That's how. Once that's done, it'll be possible to learn why the galaxies expanded so rapidly. A closer examination of the galaxies and their gigantic size would be possible with spectroscopy data. It'll give us their size and distance from us. Funny thing is that this wasn't even close to being at the top of the list of things scientists hope to learn from James Webb. We've learned something that we never considered asking the universe for, and it happened much more quickly than anyone imagined, leaving scientists baffled. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, it's also possible that the galaxies found with web data are something else entirely. Considering that this is our first look back so far, it's crucial that we have an open mind about what's being discovered. Although the data suggests that they are most likely galaxies, some scientists believe that there is a chance that some of these objects could actually be hidden supermassive black holes. Still, however much mass is found, the known mass of stars at this moment in the history of the universe is up to 100 times larger than we'd previously believed. So, could we be wrong again? According to another study that came out in June 2023, these very young galaxies displayed intricate structures and star formation clusters as early as 600 million years after the Big Bang. The JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey collected a month's worth of observations from two random regions of the sky, one in the Ursa Minor constellation and the other in the general direction of the Fornax Cluster. And guess what? Over 700 young galaxies were discovered in that area, which will give us more insights into the early universe. This is an exciting point in time because it seems like Webb is literally opening our eyes to newer dimensions. The earliest galaxies we could observe up until this point merely looked like tiny smudges. Those smudges were millions or possibly billions of stars from the early universe. Now that we can observe that some of them are extended objects with observable structure, 93% of these newly discovered galaxies were never seen before. Brace yourself for what's ahead. Let us know in the comments below what you think of JWST's newest findings, and make sure to subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next video.